Hi, welcome back. I want to do a closer look at my Road Talker 40 SSB radio here. I I was kind of interested in the history of it. I was I really didn't have any idea when they sold these how many years it was made. I don't see very many of these on eBay. I think there's one on eBay right now. They don't come up very often. I've heard it's kind of rare. So I decided to um, look at some old Sears catalogs and see what year it was made and um, if it really is that rare. All right, since I knew it, since it's a 40 channel radio, CB radio, I knew that it had to be manufactured probably 1978 or later because that's when they came out with the 40 channels. And um, it actually was a little later than I thought. It first showed up in the Sears catalog in 1981, and it sold for $139.95. So I did my inflation calculator. That would be equal to around $460 in a 2022. Okay, then I thought, okay, if it was only made one year, then uh, maybe it is kind of rare. Then I went to 1982, and there it was, same radio, same price. Then I thought, okay, it's made for two years. Then I went to 1983, still in the catalog, same price. And guess what? It was still there in 1984. Same price, same radio. Now, when I got to 1985, the radio was no longer sold and um, Sears no longer had their own brand of radios. And starting in 1985, they started selling um, Midland radios. What I'd like to do now is turn off the CB, take it over to my table where I work on it, open it up and show you what Superior CB did to the radio to fix it. All right, we have the lid off and we're gonna look inside the radio. Uh, like I said last year, I had replaced all the capacitors in the radio. I think there were around 43 of them and only two or three were still within specifications. So once I replaced those, the radio sounded much better. Then it worked for a few months and then it stopped working and that's when I sent it uh, off and I got it back a couple weeks ago and I thought I'd show you what Chris Tolan replaced. Here's the PLL here. It's a 2624C and um, that's what was in it before but I notice the NEC number or the top number up here, I'm not sure what that identifies, but on my original one, it was K13019. And on this one, I know this, it's 854, no, 8545KY. But I don't know what that number signifies, but um, I guess when you refer to the PLL, you refer to the number down here. All right, so if we look over here, I wanted to see if the board had any markings to who manufactured it. And I found a, a number here, the PC833AE, and that's the number on the board, and I looked it up. And sure enough, that's the same board that's in the Cobra 146GTL. And it's also the same board that's in the unit in PC122XL. All right, if we look at the Road Talker 40 here, SSB, we can see we have a volume here, a squelch, a fine tuning, which is the clarifier, um, the AM, upper sideband, lower sideband, and the uh, SWR calibration. It has a built-in SWR meter in here, which is which is nice if you uh, don't have your own SWR meter. All right, on the Cobra 146 GTL, which shares the same board, 
Um, they're similar, but um, one big difference with them. If you look here, we have the volume in the squelch and um, lower side band, AM upper side band, and the voice lock, which is the clarifier. But instead of having a built-in SWR meter, uh, they have a control for the RF gain. Then if we look at the unit in PC122XL, which is which shares the same board as the other two radios we just looked at. Again, volume, squelch, RF gain like the Cobra 146 GTL, and then the clarifier, which on this one is actually called the clarifier. And then again, if you look at the microphone on the Sears Road Talker, you can see if it's a coffin microphone, which is just a uh, Cobra micro microphone rebranded as a Sears. And instead of a four pin jack connection on the Cobra, this one has a six pin connection. Now I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that I have a realistic microphone here. I haven't tried it yet, but I think the Actually, it's a five pin connection. I said six pin connection, but I believe the Radio Shack uh, pin uh, configuration is the same as the Road Talker. Um, I'm not entirely sure on that, but I thought I saw a video by Mower Junkie where he had plugged in this exact microphone into um, the Sears Road Talker. Now you're probably thinking, why don't I just plug it in and test it? Well, I had this radio um, out of commission for such a long time, to be honest, I know it won't hurt it, but I'm kind of afraid to plug it into it. And I actually really like the Sears microphone. It sounds nice. So I think we're just gonna go with the configuration we have here. All right, we have the radio back where it belongs. Turns on, I'm very paranoid opening it up, even though I know I didn't do anything. Um, I don't want this radio to go out again, but I just thought I'd share a little history about the Sears radio, this particular one, how long it was made, um, what years. And like I said, I, I don't see many on eBay and I don't know why. I mean, it looks like it was made, manufactured for four years. Uh, maybe people back then just didn't want the Sears radio. Maybe they wanted the Cobra 146, and maybe that's why it's rare. Maybe they didn't sell very many. But there you have it. Um, thanks for watching the video. Hope you learned, learned a couple things. I know I did, and I will see you next time. Thank you.